what's up okay so in this video I'm going to talk about scalp massages and frequency and how effective that is in accelerating your hair growth grease your scalp preferably not with grease typical grease but something like olive oil or shea butter or fractionated coconut oil it's good to butter and oil your scalp I'll make a separate video about that but you really want to massage the oils in and that's normal the only way you're going to get an oil on your scalp if you're greasing your scalp is to rub it in right you're going to do some sort of massaging but i'm talking about active massage where at least for 30 seconds to a minute or even two minutes you're massaging your scalp to facilitate hair growth now how frequently should you do this and is it always effective the answer is infrequently you shouldn't be doing this any more than twice a month you should not be forcefully massaging your scalp any more frequently than twice a month because if you do this any more frequently your scalp gets used to it it's kind of like the inversion method like you do it for a while and then you stop and you taper off and then you can start again like a cycle the same thing goes true with massaging the scalp with whatever oil you choose whether that be jojoba oil avocado oil grapeseed oil extra virgin olive oil or extra virgin coconut oil whatever oil you choose or a mixture of those oils you do not want to do it too frequently don't do it more than twice a month because you really want to get those oils in there it is advisable to do it as a hot oil treatment to heat those oils up even though that's not totally necessary and do it right before you're gonna sh shampoo your hair or something like that like you know five minutes before or something because it really does help facilitate hair growth but if you do it too frequently your scalp gets used to it and it starts to lessen the effects that got a lot of the little things you do to grow your hair out and scalp massages are one of those things you want to really gauge it and don't do it any more than twice a month because you can push it but definitely you don't want to push it over four times a month you know what i'm saying you really want to keep it at a minimum so that in addition to exercise which speeds up both for the scalp and the immersion method i have another video on the inversion method which is extremely effective that i really didn't go into great detail on and i think i will expand upon that inversion method because i told you i did it i didn't tell you how i did it so you can check out that inversion method video down below in the description box but yeah, you know, you really, really want to gauge the little things you do because it's all, hair growth is it's a process, you know, it's not just one thing is going to do it. It's everything combined, you know, it's your diet, your exercise, the way you handle your hair, the products you put in your hair, the products you put on your scalp, you know, it's a lot of little things. How hydrated are you? How much water are you drinking? It's a lot of things that come into play. How do you protect your hair at night? So everything affects how well your hair grows okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and this great tip thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video later